What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. So if you're feeling lucky and you want to hit the jackpot, then this farm is for you. However, if you just want to rely on steady gold and you don't really feel lucky, you got to just click off this video right now because this is massive RNG. And the item of interest that we will be farming is this bad boy right here, the unknown archaeologist hammer. Look at the image to the right side, it's basically just a giant mace. But the cool thing about it, besides from the fact that it's just a giant club, is the fact that it has a unique appearance. There's not a single item in the game with the same appearance, and therefore it holds a significant value on the auction house. Now, the reason why I wanted to make this video, because I did make a video on this many years ago, is because while doing my live stream where people farm different dungeons trying to beat each other and whoever farms the most gold, we had this lucky guy right here, a speedy Fook, who managed to get two of them in an hour, which is insanely hard to do, and I'll explain why in this video. Before we do that, though, big thank you to all of you guys for the support on the Zero to 10 Million Gold Guide. Really do appreciate it. If you haven't picked it up already, make sure to use the discount code DRAGONFLIGHT and you'll get it for 50% off. And it's over 180 pages with the best gold-making tactics and methods that I personally use. So once you get the book, it also comes with a lifetime of free updates, meaning that whenever there's a new patch or even a new expansion, I just update the same guide and I send the updated version to you. Now, as you'll narrow, is located right here in Dragonblight, Wrath of the Lich King. You want to not go into Old Kingdom, but you want to take a right by like all these NPCs. And it's very hard to get this hammer because Asiel Nereb doesn't have that many mobs with like an actual loot table. In fact, it has very few of them. It has uh, like the, uh, the mobs right here where it says on Wowhead that they can drop from the uh, the warrior mobs, the Anubar warrior mobs, uh, but they don't really have any loot table. So after killing the boss and jumping down here, which you can, by the way, just skip all of this nonsense because none of those have any uh, any chance of dropping the archaeology hammer. So uh, you just want to rush down to the big spider boss. You can kill him. He doesn't drop anything of interest, so... Uh, you better to just jump down. Just basically, you just want to speed run the dungeon as fast as you can past all of these bosses. And where you can get the hammer is right up here. So uh, jump out of the water, walk through this gate. And once you're here, you have these two bad boys. The Anubar Prime Guards. Yes, these two mobs right here has a chance of dropping the hammer. <laughs> and... That's why I said it's it's a very different farm for, from lots of farms. Like, uh, there's very few mobs in the dungeon in the first place, and there's very few mobs that actually has a loot table. So you want to kill those two, finish off the boss, just so you can get past him, and you can uh, exit the dungeon behind them. Rinse and repeat. Big RNG, but possibly a big payout, though, if you're lucky enough to actually get the hammer. And with that being said... That was pretty much it for today's video, so thank you all so much for watching, as always, and I will see you all back in at tomorrow's video. But until then, bye-bye.